Birdie was a shock to me. When they called, I thought, because somehow they called me directly. They called me directly somehow. Um, oh, because of Gene Sachs. Gene Sachs had directed me in Broadway Bound. So Gene called, and he said, I want you to do Bye Bye Birdie. And, uh, and I'm thinking he's talking about the Paul Lind role, because that's what I played in high school, right? That's the part that I would do. And he's talking about, uh, we'll have to change the key for you from put on a happy face. And I went, I said, Gene, I'm not in put on a happy face. He goes, what do you mean? It's your song. I went, what part are you talking about? He said, Albert. Albert? Albert? Wh who's playing Rosie? He went, Vanessa Williams. I said, I'm in. Uh, <laughs> um, listen, it was a blast to do. I, you know, If you're in musical theater and you've gone to high school, you've done Bye Bye Birdie. I love Bye Bye Birdie. Um, I loved that cast of that movie. I adore Gene Sachs. Um, I adore Anne Ryan King, who choreographed it. It's an okay version of it. I think it suffers from a couple of things. One was, for reasons I will never understand, in order to fit it into the time slot ABC wanted, they had to expand it. You don't want to expand that material. If anything, you want to trim it down to the real good material, but you don't want to be stretching that story out. We had to stretch that story out. Uh, we also, like everything on television, we had uh, we were a dime short and a day late. So there's not enough time to get as wonderfully creative as you want to be. Um, but having said all that, it's a nice production of Bye Bye Birdie. I, now, I'm going to be hubristic now. I love Dick Van Dyke. I love Dick Van Dyke. But the movie of Bye Bye Birdie, I don't get that movie. I, I don't understand it. It's like it lost its mind. I think our movie is actually better than the movie. I don't think our movie is better than the show. I don't think I'm better than Dick Van Dyke. But I think our movie was a better filmed version of Birdie than, than that one. Um, and Dick Van Dyke, the classiest, coolest guy in the world, who I had never met, I got a, a card and some flowers the day after it aired. And he said, with a card that said, Dear Jason, now I know how to play the role. You were terrific, Dick Van Dyke. And I just went... I have since met him many times and thanked him profusely. <laughs> He's a wonderful liar. <laughs> He's a very good liar.